Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech, and we're done! That's right, it is all complete. We made the whole thing, I put it all together. Oh, it took a lot of glass, but I've even got a nice little door here. I think I showed that in the last video, but uh, I also discovered spectator cam, which is cool. I can move around. Isn't that neat? Anyway, so, time for the big reveal. Uh, let's put this back on. Take those off. What's this? There we go. Bum, bum, bum. Look, I put the buggy inside. Hooray. All right, this time, we're going to set up some oxygen. I've already set up uh, some um, pressurized pressure door. What do you, oh, you know what I'm talking about. Why can I, all of a sudden, I can't think of the name of this. I'll think of it later. Anyway, airlock. That's what it's called. So this is our this is gonna be our airlock, so we don't lose all of our air pressure every time we open the door. And uh, and I'm gonna set up a whole system so that uh, so that we can open up the big door without wasting a bunch of air too. Not that I really care all that much about air, considering we're surrounded by ice. But uh, anyway, all right. So. I've been thinking about it, and I think what I want to do is set up air vents in the floor. I think that's going to look cool, and it's going to work well. Um, we have an even number of blocks to a side, so I can't really put them in the middle, but... No, not that. I'm thinking if I put one here, and let's see, that's two away from there. So we got one, two, and here. Oh, nice. And that's two in between. So nice and even. We'll put those two there, and then we'll put two, do two over here. One, two. There, and here. There we go. We're going to have to do a little mining. <laughs> yeah, we need ice anyway. Well, we don't really need ice, but... As well. Oh, this is gonna take forever if I do it this way. Okay. Let me just pick all these up. Put those in the system later. Right click goes a lot faster. Alright, where am I? So we're gonna be putting all of our piping down here. Come on. There we go. So just gotta drill between all of our more. There we go. And then we're going to have to put the vents up there. Let me, let me get some vents on my bar here. Uh, not that. There we go. Air vents. And there's two ways that I can do this. And I want to see which one I like. First of all, I need a different color. That is a nice color for air vents. All right. So air vents... I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So air vents kind of... They kind of uh, sit below like this. And we can't really have an open hole in the floor. So I think what we need is... These things called vertical windows. Doo -doo. Like that. Yeah, I need an interior plate. Of course I need an interior plate. Let me go get some interior plate. Assuming I have anything left. Hey. Yeah, I do. Not bad. Throw the ice in there for now. Alright. So, if I put that like that, and I'm going to have to run back and get small steel tubes and com construction components. I normally cut all this running back and forth out, but, uh, you know, it's... It's part of the thing. Okay. Still gonna cut most of it off. Alright. So that looks nice if I have all of them look like that. I can walk over them without any trouble. But I do believe, because those are set inside, I'm not gonna be able to put my vent here anymore. So if I look at this, see, now it's down below like that. Hmm. Well, 
Well, well, well. Kind of wish I could put these in the ceiling, but I've got too much glass, so that's not going to happen. Um, all right, well, there's one way to solve this. And that is to do this. And then I'm going to need one underneath. Oh, boy. It's going to add a lot to look nice, but, you know, it's worth it in the end. There we go. Um, and then we're going to be using tubes. Do, do. Oh, man. I just realized something else. I could go even lower than that. Mm, I don't like these vents. Well, it's the only way to do it without falling in. Meh. Okay, yeah, this is the way I'd have to do it then. Okay, let's get rid of this. And then we're going to have to put in... Nope, nope, nope. This. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So we're going to put in a conveyor. And... Yeah, okay. So here's how this is going to work. That's a heavy armor block. I Did I put heavy armor blocks over here? I bet you I did. Yeah, sure did. Do not want heavy armor blocks. Those are a lot more expensive. I want light armor blocks. All right. And those can be gray. Hey. I'm just going to grab that color. Like that. And actually, I'm going to have to go all the way around. Like that. And do a lot more drilling. Ow. Okay. I destroyed my conveyor by accident. All right, and then... I don't have the other conveyors on here. I need conveyor tubes. Uh, I'll put them there. All right, so conveyor tubes will go... between... All right. And then, yeah, we'll have another conveyor over here. Get out of the way. There. And then our vents, which I have not yet put in on the other one, are going to go like that. And now I'm stuck underneath, so I'm going to remove it. Okay. So, I'm going to remove this. And go ahead and put in that vent there. And I've got a whole bunch of welding to do. Which is going to require a bunch of steel plates and some other things. So computers, metal grid, steel plate. Yeah. All right, let me go grab those. Let's see, computers, a little bit of metal grid, not too much, and lots of steel plate. Okay. So these will seal it off so that uh, air can't get out, because that's kind of key when you're talking about a oxygen pressurization system and let's go ahead and do these I need to get uh, okay a little more I need more motors okay more motors more motors more small steel tubes do, do, oh, come on Let's grab a few hundred motors, and I need more small tubes in general. Oh, good grief. What was it I was creating? Lots of things. Apparently power cells. And solar cells. I don't know why. Okay. 
But I need small steel tubes right now. That should be enough for now. Alright. Eh. Okay. Well, I'll at least get a sample welded up for you. And then I'm going to uh, finish off the rest of the system without you having to watch it. More small steel tubes. All right. Tell you what. I'm going to do a whole bunch of running back and forth. And I'm probably going to... So I'm going to have to run the tubes underneath the floor here. And then do the same thing here and here. And then I'm going to connect out and put all the rest of the equipment out there. But I'll come back and show you all that part. All right. Back in a minute. All right, I'm just about done here. Got a couple more things to put in place. Got to make sure everything's the right color, you know. All right. Got to make sure everything's airtight. All right, so I've got, that's the last one I was working on down there. Got the pipe run all the way along the length of the room. That one's all sealed up. And then I did that one, and we're going to do this one. I need to seal this one up like that and we need a oh need to grab that color again by the way if you're not um, if you're playing the game and you're wondering how in the world I'm doing this uh, it's uh, shift P to grab the color of the thing that's in front of you there. And let's see. Oh, wrong way. There we go. I want to make sure these are all aligned the same just because it's going to drive me nuts. Okay, we're good. And hop in there and finish that off. I, it took forever to get all the construction components necessary. And after a little while of sitting around waiting for construction components, I went and upgraded the assembler because it was driving me nuts. There we go. And now I've got plenty. Well, I mean, plenty. Oh, and I need more small steel tubes. Darn it. Yeah, I added uh, added protect productivity modules to the front and back, so now we're running at three times the normal speed. There we go. Small steel tubes. Some more construction components because I never seem to have enough of those. All right, last little bit. And now comes the fun part. So over here, I uh, I ran a pipe out, and we're just going to need to put the last little piece on. Let's do it like that. And I think, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that. looks a little nicer. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll remove that so that I can actually weld this up. There we go. Hey now. There we go. Okay. So now we have a way to get oxygen into the room, but we need to actually make the oxygen. So somewhere around here, other direction, um, we've got an oxygen generator. There we go, number three. There's our oxygen generator. So how do we want to attach this? I think, yeah, let's stick it on like that. Now, I didn't actually check to make sure I have everything necessary, of course. Large steel tubes, steel plates. Oh, no problem. We can do that. That's not an issue at all. That and... There we go. Oh, it's afraid I can't carry that many. I think I only needed two, right? Yeah, I'll grab a few more. And let me make sure some more steel plates are running, because I need those. All right. There we go. We have an oxygen generator that doesn't have any ice, so let's go get some of that. There's our old one. 
which we'll probably take apart soon, but not yet. There's one other thing we're going to want to add to this. So, this guy will make oxygen. Actually, hmm. No, we need to add one more thing to this. So, I think I'll do it just like this for now, and then I'll show you why we need to add that uh, when the problem arises. Okay, so we've got four vents. We've got doors. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and close these by hand for now. Later on, we're going to automate a bunch of this, but for now, I'm just going to close everything, and I'm going to show you something. If we look down at the vents, you can see it's one yellow light there. And when that closes, it goes green. And all the vents start blowing out air. And in a few moments, if we come over and look at a control panel, shouldn't actually take very long with four air vents. Yeah, room is now pressurized at 100%, and I can take my helmet off. That's right. You can see my gorgeous face. Everybody in this game has a beard. It's hilarious. I do not have a beard in real life. But there you go. That's what I look like. I feel like I should wave. There we go. Hey. Whoa, what did I do? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to type something. That's what was wrong. Let's try that again. Wave. All right, you can see my pretty face there. Uh, also, you'll note my oxygen is not going down. So as long as we're in here, in this nice pressurized area, then I don't have to worry about oxygen. Cool, huh? Now, if I open this up right now, a whole bunch of air is going to get sucked into that little tiny space in between. Oh, and you notice it sucked me in a little bit too. Um, the vents will then repressurize. And I'll step in here, close this, and open this, and what air is out there gets thrown out. You'll also notice I'm now taking damage. Oops. Helmet on. There we go. All right. We're going to be moving. Um, we're going to be moving our medical station in there as well, and uh, and things like assemblers and refineries will stay outside, but we'll have piping to them so that we can get to them. And then that's going to go away. Okay, so we've got a lot of work to do, but it's okay. So the next thing I wanted to show you is what if I want to open up this door. If I open up this door, whoosh, there goes all the pressurization in the entire room. Now, the vents are smart enough that they're not going to sit there and try to... Chip out. They're not, they, they recognize that the room is not sealed. And if I look at the control panel for those, um, it will show that the room is leaking, is what it's going to say. Uh, oh, no, it says not pressurized. Interesting. Um, huh. Well, there's another place where uh, where it'll say the room is leaking. I don't remember where it is. But I think it's actually the color. And then there, yeah, the yellow means that the, um, that the room is leaking. And so they're not going to try and pressurize a leaking room. Um, some of the automation shows when it's leaking. So what do we do when we don't want to waste all of that pressurization. That's a fair amount of air that's in here. And once the base gets larger, that's going to be a problem. Well, we can actually tell those vents to reverse. So if I come in here and oh, I need to group up my vents. So let's do that. Uh, this is, well, we're just going to call these vents for now. Later on, we're probably going to want to change the name as we add more areas. Oh, and you notice that we've got the depressurize button right here, but I'm going to make a button on this. So groups, vents, depressurize on off. Now, if I hit this, nothing will happen right now because there's nothing to depressurize. Um, so I'm gonna actually close that. I'm gonna close this. Do, do, do. I love the sound. Listen to that. Oh, such a satisfying sound. All right. So. 
These should be pressurizing now. Yeah, you can see the air coming out. Love that effect. There we go, and it's showing that it's pretty much full. Wow, four vents really make quick work of this room. So, if I hit depressurize, which actually I should change the name of that button too. Um, let's see, that's button three. Vent depressurize. There we go. Um, this is button panel inner, just so that we can find it later. So now it says vent depressurize. Um, did I already press that? See, now I'm getting lost. Hang on. Air vents are set to depressurize, but the room pressure is 100%. Well, what's going on there? Well, when they depressurize, they pull the air out of the room. Unfortunately, they pull it into a tank. We don't have a tank. So, we need to do something about that. So, I'm going to go out there. Whoosh. Oh, no! I left the outer door open. Why did I do that? See, we're going to have some automation that will automatically close those doors so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. Luckily, they're depressurizing anyway. So, what we need to do is add a tank. So, let's go find an oxygen tank. There we go. And I think we're done putting in vents, so we'll do that. And I could put it right next to it like that, but I kind of like the idea of laying it down. Should I embed it in the ground? That seems cool. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to pull out a little bit of dirt so it doesn't completely look like it's buried. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. I need steel plates. Do I not have steel plates? Oh, no, I have steel plates. Okay. So I'm going to need lots of tubes, go figure, and more steel plates. All right, we've got lots of those tubes. Those are girders. Okay, make me a bunch of tubes. And take those plates. <laughs> Large steel tubes take a lot of space. Okay. So put those back so I can actually carry something. And just need those small tubes. Yeah, I'll keep a few of those. All right. Now, did you hear that sound? If, you don't, if you're not wearing earphones, you probably didn't hear that sound, but it almost immediately started pulling air into this oxygen tank. So we can take a look at this control panel here. Nah. Okay. And if we look at the oxygen tank, it's already 8% filled. But what's going on right now is our new oxygen generator is right now running, trying to fill the tank. So I'm going to turn that off. Okay. Let's see. Oxygen tank is currently at 14%. One of these days, I'm going to get a script that will actually handle all this. Let's run inside. Make sure and close that door. All right. And let's see. Um, let's see. Vents currently say the room pressure is at 0% for obvious reasons. So let's go ahead and switch the depressurization. So it's going to pressurize. And right now, it's pulling everything out of the tank. It's not pulling anything from our oxygen generator because it's off. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Hang on. So the oxygen tank has 8%, and this says room pressure is at 100%. So we're not going to have to run that tank for, or that generator for a while. So every time I open the door, I lose a little bit. So I need the generator because eventually the tank's going to empty out and we're going to need the generator to make more oxygen. But if I let it run all the time, it's going to fill up the tank, and I won't be able to depressurize. Does that all make sense? It's a little weird, but trust me, it works. Once I get some automation in here, which I'll do on the next episode, we're going to be adding a whole bunch of automation for various different things. 
uh, you'll you'll be able to see a little easier as I've got I'll have a screen up that'll actually show current status and yada yada. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. Uh, we've got actually I think I'm running a little bit long for this episode, but hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit about uh, pressurizing a room in Space Engineers. Next time, like I said, I'm going to do some automation. So come on back. And uh, we're going to do all kinds of automation. We're going to have screens up showing us status of all kinds of nifty things. In between, I'm going to move all that stuff. It's going to be a lot of just running back and forth. So I'm going to move all of that stuff to either in this room or adjacent to this room. I'm probably going to run my assemblers along the back wall here. And then I'll put, obviously, the uh, medical room. I think I'll put right here and we'll see we'll figure it out and uh i'll give you a little tour at the beginning of the next episode all right i'll see you next time on epic tech